Hey there, Bookkeeping Side Hustle community. This is a quick tutorial on how to set up your free QuickBooks Online accountant account. This free program from QuickBooks offers bookkeeping and accounting professionals like us um, a way to start serving small businesses who use QuickBooks. Um, it's also where you're going to find a whole slew of study materials and the demo company, which you'll need to practice. Um, uh, a ton of marketing resources, uh, there's some practice management tools. Um, also, very importantly, you're going to use this QBO accountant account to access all of your exams to become a certified QuickBooks Online Pro Advisor and maybe go all the way to becoming an advanced certified Pro Advisor one day. And speaking of that exam, I do want to point you to a video. It should be popping up on the screen about an interview I did about some tips to pass that exam. So come back later and watch that. So what we're going to learn right now is how to properly sign up for it so you don't accidentally sign up for QuickBooks Desktop or maybe some obscure QuickBooks exam or and you don't end up also you don't end up paying for anything. I've seen some people do that where they're not exactly sure what they're signing up for and they sign up for the wrong thing. So the place we need to go is quickbooks.intuit.com slash accountants. Quickbooks.intuit.com slash accountants. You know, this page might look differently by the time you're watching this video, but what you want to do is you want to either click here on sign up or get started. Something like that is what you're going to need. So we're going to click here. So we clicked there, and this is where you're going to complete your info for signing up. It takes about 10 seconds, um, and you'll hit continue. On the next screen, you're going to be asked to provide your business information. Now, if you don't have a name that you love yet for your business, or you don't have your domain with your email address set up, you can create uh, any email you want. You can change it later. Um, I started with my personal Gmail email um, whenever I st started out, and I didn't even have a business name. It was, took me a long time to pick one. People have asked for a instructions on how to change that email address, and if I ever create a video on that, I'll make sure to link it below. Um, yeah, so put in the information about your firm, knowing that it can all be changed later. So this is an account I created just to demo what we're, what's going on. Um, there's no clients in this yet, but um, this is what you're going to see whenever you log in. This is your portal, your homepage, where you're going to start anytime you wake up in the morning and start working for clients. This bottom portion over here where it says your books is your own free QuickBooks Online account. It is where you'll be able to do your own bookkeeping for your own company. Um, and it's it looks just like what you'll see when you actually teleport in uh, to your clients' accounts. They're going to have the overview, the dashboard, the tasks, the banking, all of that. So you'll, you'll use this to manage your practice. You can create tasks for yourself. You bill your clients this way. Hopefully, you'll be setting automatic recurring sales receipts. That's a goal. Uh, so that way, you get paid the first of the month before any work gets done. And at the top section here, under your practice, um, this is how you're going to be able to start that process of becoming a certified QuickBooks Pro Advisor. You'll click here on Pro Advisor. You're going to want to click here on Training. Now, this page might look different over time. They're adding uh, different trainings all the time. Uh, up here, you see right now they're featuring one that says uh, Framing Advisory Work. So that's going to, they're always providing resources for us to keep learning. But what you need to do is you need to study um, QuickBooks Online and make sure you know how to do that. Um, this right here looks like a great intro section. Uh, but you're probably here because you want to know how to become certified. So down here, QuickBooks Online certification, it says eight modules. If you need CPE credits, you're able to get that. Um, and there are two ways to learn. And much of their training is this way, where there's a self-paced version and there's a webinar version. Uh, it, so if we click here on self-paced, You'll study all these modules. Uh, there's currently eight modules, and I think they condense these eight modules into five exams at the time of this recording. Um, you can also sign up to take this web, uh, webinar uh, if you learn better like that, or sometimes it's just easier to kind of um, you know, block it off on your calendar. Yeah, so you could take a webinar, go through that, uh, and you'll still take the test right after. Um, you always have to take the test, whether you do self-paced or webinar. Then when you're ready, you're going to click Take the Exam. Pay attention to the rules of the exam. They're um, always changing it. When I started, there were 10 modules and 10 corresponding exams. Uh, so just pay attention to that. They'll, they'll make it clear what the, what the uh, rules are. Um, also, at the time of this recording, 
you, if you, you have three chances to take each module. Uh, if you fail any one module more than three times, you do get locked out of the exam for 30 days. But you can come back, uh, keep studying, come back and keep taking it. Don't let that discourage you. Um, each year, you will also have to recertify. Um, the, that's on by June 30th each year. Uh, the test is much shorter, and it's really only on anything that's new. One key to these certifications is that they're easy to get, but a cert by itself won't get you any clients. So you need to do two things. I created a little social media promotion calendar thing that you can give you some guidance on how to take this accomplishment of becoming a certified QuickBooks Pro Advisor and tell the world about it. Um, just getting that cert is not going to get you any clients, so you have to do the work of continuing to build your business. Um, and then the second thing I want to point out is you have the ability to be listed in the Pro Advisor directory, and you can really juice up that profile and use it as a way to get clients, like really warm leads. Those people are actively looking for bookkeepers to help them with QuickBooks. So um, if you click on this screen, you're going to see a link to a, a very in-depth video I did with a real expert about how to optimize your QuickBooks Online directory profile. And you will start getting emails from very warm leads if you do what he says, um, especially depending on how much competition there is in your geography. Um, for other QuickBooks Online Pro Advisors, um, you could be at the top of the list and have the leads really rolling in. And it's completely free. And it might be all the marketing that you need. I want to share one last thing. This is not the only certification that you can get. I have a lot of material on a, about how to get certified in the bookkeeping software called Xero. I am also have my eye on a certification that FreshBooks is sort of in beta right now and is going to keep improving, um, where you can become a certified in FreshBooks as well. So don't think that this is the only software that you need. Um, plenty of people have built businesses without using serving clients on QuickBooks Online at all. So keep looking down in the description, um, especially for the links for the Zero certification. And as the FreshBooks certification comes out and I learn more about that, I'm going to include that too. If you know of any other certifications that you can get that will help you build your business, please comment below with those. Provide some links. And I'd love to investigate those for the larger community. But just remember that there's more than one way to build a business. You don't have to do it on QuickBooks. It's a great place to start. It's very popular. It does have the largest market share with small businesses. But I like to remain platform agnostic and let people just know of the options, but not say that one way is the way to go. All right, so let's summarize what we learned. First, to start working with clients in QuickBooks Online, you need to create your free QuickBooks Online accountant account. Two, make sure you listen to the interview and read the tips at bookkeepingsidehustle.com backslash pass QuickBooks dash exam. There'll be a link to that. Listen to that interview before taking the test because it's going to give great tips. Um, there's a video about it, and there's some written tips as well. Number three, go to the training section of your Pro Advisor tab to access the study materials and to take the exam. Number four, when you pass the exam, make sure to grab your little social media idea kit um, to then start to go tell the world about what you just did and turn that accomplishment into lots of social media posts. And then five, Make sure you watch the video about how to optimize your Pro Advisor directory. You can listen to it like a podcast. It is uh, really, really great. It's someone built, up, built their business um, up to almost like six figures just on that alone before ever paying a dime in advertising. All right, I hope this was helpful. Please comment below. If you have any questions, I will try to answer them as best as I can. Keep hustling.